Hello, and welcome to the Providence Regional Emerging Special Pathogens Treatment Center training. I'm Krista Arganchona, and I'll be leading you through today's training. Today we are demonstrating the process for starting an IV and drawing specimens on a patient who has or is suspected of having a high consequence pathogen such as Ebola. This will be demonstrated in a biocontainment unit setting. Healthcare personnel performing specimen collection should wear appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE for the pathogen. Today we will be donned in the high level PPE ensemble that we use for Ebola and other high consequence pathogens. When performing this specimen collection process, remember these guidelines. Blood draws should always be kept to a minimum to decrease the risk of exposure to healthcare personnel and specimens should be drawn from existing lines whenever possible. The blood sample collection process should be a two-person process to maintain a culture of safety with one person acting as a trained observer. Preparing and pre-positioning the supplies needed for this process are important for maintaining infection prevention. This includes a surface for supplies, a garbage can, a sharps container, gloves, disinfectant wipes, hand sanitizer, and specimen labels. Prior to starting the specimen collection process, coordinate with the lab to confirm they are prepared to receive specimens. Today I have with me Brooke and Sarah from our special pathogens team to help with the demonstration. To start the IV start specimen collection process, place a barrier pad on the bed. Prepare and pre-position the supplies as needed. Place a garbage can and sharps container in an accessible location for easy discarding of waste and sharps. Position your IV start supplies on a surface in order of use on a barrier pad, opening them for ease of use when needed. On the other side of the surface, place a barrier for clean lab tubes and position specimen bags along with specimen labels. Place hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes so they are easily within reach. Begin the process by performing hand hygiene. Place the IV utilizing supplies in the order they are laid out, discarding each item immediately after use in the proper receptacle, either the sharps container or the trash can. Have extra gauze and extra alcohol wipes to use for any drops of blood that may occur during the IV placement process. Once you get the IV placed, secure it. Draw specimens according to your protocol, maintaining good infection prevention practices, and place them on the dirty barrier on the surface being used. Make sure that after you draw the specimens, you place the, the tubes on the dirty side of your surface. Now Brooke's just going to flush the IV now that she's drawn her specimens. Now she's going to perform hand hygiene, doff those gloves, then she will perform hand hygiene again, and don clean gloves before proceeding with the process. Next, Brooke is going to wipe the lab specimen tubes down thoroughly with disinfectant wipes, making sure to include the rubber stopper on the top of the specimen tubes. Once the tubes are disinfected, place them on the clean barrier and then perform hand hygiene. After the contact time has elapsed for the disinfectant on the lab specimen tubes, label the specimens and place each specimen in its own bag and seal. And once they are sealed, she's going to wipe down each bag with a disinfectant wipe. Once the bags are disinfected, Brooke will roll each of them up carefully. The bags will then be passed through into a large specimen bag to the doffing assistant in the doffing room. The second bag is sealed and wiped down with disinfectant wipes by the doffing assistant. The double bagged specimens are then passed out into a rigid container to be transported to the lab. Clean up the surface area by carefully folding up barriers from the corners and discard. Once your surface area is all clean, wipe it down using disinfectant wipes. 
Once the disinfection is completed, perform hand hygiene, doff your gloves, perform hand hygiene, and don clean gloves. When starting an IV and drawing specimens, remember these three things. Set yourself up for success by planning and pre-positioning needed supplies in order of use. Utilize barriers to maintain infection prevention and go slow. Utilize a trained observer and checklist to maintain safety. Thank you for your commitment to keeping patients and your fellow caregivers safe.